What's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome How back. How is everybody doing? Welcome back. We are on Gen Con Day 3. It is the afternoon. We are fueled up with lunch and ready to go on some parks. Thanks for joining us here. Uh, happy Gen Con. Happy weekend. Um, if you are joining us from a Gen Con event, if you have a ticket for this event, don't forget to head over to GenCon.com and uh, log into your profile, click on that schedule and turn in your ticket. That way everybody gets credit for you showing up and us hanging out. Additionally, if you're here, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to throw us any of your questions in the chat. We're here to answer them as we play along. This is just as much about your questions getting answered, just like if you walked up to a booth as it is us getting to hang out and play some games with you. And if you're feeling particularly lucky, you can send us a DM in Facebook or whisper over in Twitch with your mailing address. And you might be one of 10 people that gets picked to receive a little surprise from us in the mail starting next week. Um, we just want to send people a little thank you because we're really excited to be here with you. However we can. We love Gen Con week weekend. It's maybe the best four days in gaming. Is that right, Matt? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's four really, 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 really good days in gaming. Dare I say the best? I'm I'm not I'm not sure. Not really, sure. really, really, really good. Hey, hey, Matt. I think you've got somebody new over there. For this morning, you were by yourself. Now there's somebody else. In I your, do. We uh, have a special picture. guest with us. Here with us is my oldest daughter, Nora. Nora, say hello. 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 She is going to be right. hanging out with us, playing some parks. Are you excited? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and um, and Nora, you know, I'm dreaming of the day where I get to take the kids to conventions with me. Um, we're a small, small publisher, right? Um, and that means that it's it's a family business. Um, and Nora always is wondering when she gets to go to, to a convention with me, right? Someday. Someday. Well, Someday. today's the day. Oh, I'm excited. T today she can count as her first Gen Con, I think. Absolutely. Gen Con 2020 dash c19 right is that how th is that how that goes all right maybe to celebrate after we're done streaming you get something um maybe i can and put throw matt on your dad under the bus and be like hey maybe it's ice cream time or something special treat Ooh. time after you're done we ate the last of the ice cream last night oh no well. might be time to go get some more yeah should i make some more mm -hmm. yeah uh, okay mm -hmm. here we go we're gonna be playing some parks um and jen are you in yeah you're in you've selected are you gonna be the I'm purple? In. i selected purple okay cool Nora and i are going to play on the same team although she's really going to play and and i'm just going to click the buttons for her um so we're going to play a good. two player game no i'm going to click the buttons all right here we go so first we're going to set up and then we're going to get into what we're doing um actually jen while i'm setting up um, yeah and looking so at your cards here is parks night uh parks this is the base game with the newest expansion releasing later this year in november this is parks with parks nightfall uh because half the park is after dark uh we're showing off both the base game we'll be teaching you how to play the base game if this is your first time seeing uh the base game and you want to learn how to play perfect we're going to go over how to play the game as well as what's new in the parks expansion uh nightfall features three really key elements um that we're excited to talk about the first is it includes 24 additional park cards. Those park cards complete the parks set, so all 62 national parks are now in the game if you have Nightfall. It also includes new year cards, year cards that you can multiply. They allow you to stretch into more points. It allows you the opportunity to get more year cards potentially throughout the game. Uh, so cards, year cards that will replace the base game year cards. Once you've had a chance to play with those base game year cards, you have an opportunity to switch them out and try up a different gameplay experience with a different year end strategy or year end goals. And then lastly, we have camping because in the nighttime, you probably want tents. So you're going to see some tents along our trail as we're hiking these allow you to stop at campsites, take a little rest, take a little break. They provide powerful actions, and we will talk about those actions as we take them. So uh, this is our tabletop simulator version of these cards, uh, of this game. It's actually a tabletop save, uh, it's a workshop mod that you can save right now if you want to. We have a link over in our chat for uh, the Steam Community Workshop link that allows you to save this game and the rest of the games in our catalog. Uh, 
all you need is a copy of Tabletop Simulator in uh, Steam. That is a one-time purchase game uh, that you can get in Steam for your computer, and you could start playing this right now. All right, so Jen, I've got us set up. We've got our first season. Uh, maybe just hit us up real quick with what are, what is Parks? What are we doing? Um, what's the goal? And, and then we can get into that, how we actually play. Yeah, in Parks, you are taking two hikers uh, and hiking over the course of four seasons of a year. You'll, hop, you'll walk down the trail, uh, visiting sites and collecting memories along the way. Memories are gonna be your resources in the game. They are the adorable sunshine and water, those bright things that you see up at the top of the board. Uh, those are your resources that you trade in, those memories that you trade in to visit national parks. The person who collects the most points in national park cards and pictures along with their year card or year end bonus will be the winner of the game. Now, when you travel down this, uh, this uh, uh, trail, you can never go backwards. So anytime you're taking an action, you have two hikers, you choose one of them, you move them as far down the trail as you want, stopping wherever you want, but they can never go back to the trailhead. They will not go back until the next season. All right. So now we got an overview. Um, we have uh, two year cards in our hands. Um, we are going to get to pick one, Jen. Um, I'll, I'll let you know that I'm, I'm definitely going to be going for some parks with instant action. So this is the first time uh, for some of you that you've seen this, this new year deck or, or even a year card if you've never seen the base game. Um, in the game, you are gonna, these are going to be secret personal objectives. Um, objectives that if you accomplish, um, you are going to get bonus points at the end of the game, which is again after we hike all four seasons in a year. Um, You'll see right now, I've got on the screen the, the Voyager year card, which is gonna score me one point for every park that has an instant action on it. Um, all these instant action parks are the 24 new Nightfall park cards um, that are coming out in the expansion this fall. Uh, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab this one. I had the option of also getting two points uh, for every set of three parks that has at least one mountain on it. Um, but I really, I really want to check out these instant actions. I think that's a really fun starting card, um, really flexible. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the one I don't want, and I'm going to discard it to the bottom of the deck. Do you have your one-year card? I am ready to go. All right, cool. I don't know what Jen's working on, so we, maybe we can deduce it as we get out on the trail. Um, it looks like it assigned me as the first hiker. I'm going to just move my cards up closer to the board so people can see. For sure. For sure. Yeah, there we go, right there. That's good. A little bit, little, yeah, perfect. Actually, a little bit to your right. I can zoom out a little bit. That looks good right there. Um, so I've got the first hiker token. Um, this is an enamel token that comes in the base game um, and just basically indicates who is the first hiker to, uh, to move every season. Um, we've got that, but that means that you have the camera, Jen, which we'll talk about the mm -hmm. camera a little bit later. Camera's gonna make it a lot easier to take photos out on the trail. Um, so on our turn, I love having the camera. You 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 love are a little you little you look camera camera happy. Our two player games often revolve around who has the camera, who's taking it at just the right moment. So we'll see how that plays out here. Now Nora has played parks with me before. Um, Nora, we are right. the we are the cream hiker. These two up here. It's our turn. We're going to take one of our hikers and we're going to move them down the trail. Remember, right? Always down, never backwards. Um, and and we're going to take an action. So you know. Let's look at these kind of first three, maybe. We can go to the forest and get a forest. Probably don't want to go to the river right now, right? Um, you want to go to the forest? All right, great. Nora has indicated she'd like to go to the forest. We're going to go ahead and move our cream hiker here. It doesn't matter which one. We just moved one of them, move him to the forest. And that uh, indicates to us we are going to gain a forest resource. So we're going to go up here. And go, yeah, there you're right, right there. We're going to take, oh, there we go. We're going to take one out and pull it into our play area. Now, for some of you who have played um, the base game of Parks before, uh, you might ask, Matt, why do you have a wildlife in your play area right now? And that's, that's right. Hey, Matt, why do you have a wildlife in your play area right well, now? Well, in the Nightfall that's expansion, um, we have um, added a starting setup rule of giving everybody a wildlife to start the game. This allows you to make a decision to maybe jump to a campsite, which we'll talk about really soon, 
um, right off the bat in the game. It also just gets you in the action a little bit faster. Everyone loves wildlife, right? You love wildlife? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. Me too. Me What's too. your favorite little right. animal in, in parks? Um, We've got the bear, the mountain goat, the wolf, the mountain lion. The owl. You like, yeah? Oh, okay. The owl is a um, is a new wildlife in the expansion. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We already got some new favorites. Okay. Um, I will say that I love the moose. It's so big. And I like to think that mooses are uh, very friendly animals. I think that that is actually untrue. Um, but they seem like they should be friendly animals. So I love the moose. All right. So it is my turn to go. I have to take one of my hikers. If I want to visit the forest uh, with Nora, I would have to use my campfire in order to share that space. I don't know if I'm willing to do that just yet. So uh, just like Nora, I probably don't really need to go to the river right now, even though there's a tent there. But I, there's those tent actions, we're not, we're not quite ready to use those tent actions just yet. So I'm going to head over to the mountain, grab myself some shun, sunshine, and a mountain token. Yeah, so you'll notice that Jen, when she went to the mountain, there was a there was a, a sun on the board. That is reflective of the current weather. Every season, a new weather pattern comes out. The first hiker to visit a location also collects the weather token. In this case, it was sunny in the mountains, so she got a sun and a mountain. But wait, what else did she get? It is the season of stone, where Jen is going to be able to gain an additional one sun because she gained a mountain on this turn. It was a pretty good turn. That's right. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Season season cards change every single season. So once a, a season is representative of us, uh, all of the players playing the game, making it from the trailhead to the trail end. So that's only that's some, a rule that we can take an adva advantage of for this this particular round of the game. Should we go to the river and copy what what Mrs. Jen did? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, and you can tell them what we're gonna do. Why don't you tell the the mic real quick? What you want to do? No, no. Okay. Well, Nora just told me she wanted to go to the river. Should we use our back hiker or our front hiker? Which one? Yeah. The front hiker. All right. We're going to leave this space available for you, but we're going to jump here to the river. We're going to gain this water and we're going to immediately use it. We're going to drop it up here uh, for the river action, which allows me to copy an action where another hiker is located. In this case, we're going to hike, uh, copy uh, Jen's purple hiker on the mountain, which is going to gain us a mountain. And again, because of the season, we're going to get to take one sun. Just one. Remember, she, she got the second one because of the weather. The weather's not out there anymore. It was and we, a, don't get it was weather weather we, the, we don't get weather when we use the river. All right, Jen, back to you. But you did you did get weather from your site because you, you, you were actually able to use the river. You really been, you used that site really well because there was a you didn't even need one a water before that. You were able to just take the water as you went there. We could that have used it cool. right there. Right. Nathan, Nathan over on Facebook says uh, hi. Nathan first of all says uh, this is on tabletop simulator. Looks great. Thanks, Nathan. Yeah, this is on tabletop simulator. We actually had help um, putting this out, like doing all the. The, um, the button clicks, you'll see it says start season two over on the left, um, which is a really easy setup button um, and, and works awesome. So so this is a really great way to play um, uh, Parks and Parks Nightfall. Obviously, not quite as good as playing the real thing, but you know what? We'll take it for, yeah. for us as a team to be able to hang out and play together, which we love doing. It's a great option. Um, also, um, that link, right. a link to the all the all all of our games that are on Steam can be found, it's pinned in chat. So if you're on Facebook, you just go down to the pin um, from Jennifer, you can see the Steam community files. You can play Space Park, Campy Creatures, Control, Parks with the Nightfall expansion, and you can play Parks Memories as well. Yeah, um, and uh, Nathan says he's a, a proud backer. I'm so excited for Nightfall. Hey, Nathan, thanks so much for your support. Um, okay. Um, hey, Kiwi Monster 8 and Ido Mar Hernandez and Lay Davis. Uh, thanks for the follows. We're at 49 follows on Twitch, y'all. Just from oh. people coming and hanging out with us um, this weekend at Gen Con. Thank you so much. Uh, Jen and I stream every other Thursday, potentially every Thursday, if, if we continue to have this much fun. So you can check us out. Um, That's two, right. 2 p.m. Eastern is normally when we go live on Thursdays. Wow. Um, 
there's a there's a lot of good options. I am I am hmm. Uh, all right, I think I'm just going down to the ocean. I think I'm going to the ocean. I'm getting some sunshine. Uh, I'm getting some water, uh, and I'm gonna fill my canteen. Mm -hmm. To trade in one of these sunshine. So Jen, tell us, tell us a little bit about the canteen. This is the first time we've seen canteens. We both started with one. Absolutely. What does yours allow you to do? Uh, so my canteen allows me to exchange one resource that's in my pile, again, one of those memories, for another resource of any type except wildlife. I can do that up to two times. Canteens can be used once per season. So I fill it up with water when I collect it on the trail. If I were to choose to just keep this water off to the side, I can't come back later and decide to use this water uh, for my canteen. I got to use it. It's like I'm stopping at the ocean. I'm either filling up my canteen now or just taking in the memories, taking in the sights and moving along. So I'm choosing to fill up my canteen and take advantage of changing up some of my resources, trying to position myself for, for uh, something specific maybe that's uh that i'm seeing that's available for me to go visit up in the park cars area of the board all right so you 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 did the trade what have you completed your trades yet did i miss that did i what complete your trade do you so you you, you used I your completed, i just did yes i did um i did one i could do more i could do more i'll do more you convinced me you made me think about it now there i do more and you gained that extra mountain, so you gained the additional sunshine from the season. And I get a sunshine. See that? I thanks, Matt. Wow. Jen, so Jen's got a lot of resources right now, and she's got a lot of resource-heavy um, places down the trail. Nora, you know, we could jump down. Do you want to jump down to this one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. That's okay, a really good spot. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. What do you say? Okay, so let's jump down here. We don't want Jen to get this free. Um, this free. Oh, you want to do use our canteen? Okay, so we don't want to get to that free weather trail, uh, weather token. Um, but we're going to use that weather, and we're going to drop it in our canteen. Um, our canteen mm -hmm. allows us to either trade an additional resource for a wildlife or reserve a park card. Do we want another wildlife, or do we want to reserve a park? Yeah. Wildlife. Okay, cool. We're going to trade. Um, you want to trade a sun in. We'll trade a sun in. We're gonna gain a wildlife. If we haven't said it uh, already, wildlife are wild. They can be used as any of the other four resource types in the game. Additionally, with the Nightfall expansion, um, we recommend uh, a new variant rule that you can pull into your base game as well, um, which is quite simply, wildlife can be used um, in a two of any type, um, to, to pay for two of any type um, resource cost. So I'll show you really quick yeah. on the Vista right here. This does perfect. You see that square two? That would say that would normally mean pay two of any resource. So you could pay a water and a sun or a mountain and a forest. Um, but the wildlife can be exchanged for that icon only. Um, for one wildlife would equal two resources. Um, so that will come out into play in our new park cards, um, but also when when gaining a photo. Oh, you like you like Archers National Park? That's a good one. Pretty good. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I am, I'm going to hop over to the river with my back hiker. I am not going to take the river action. Let's talk about campsites. So there's a tent on the river. Uh, it is the forward-most tent. I'm going to take that tent I, uh, token, and I'm going to put it on one of the four possible campsites that I have to choose from. Again, there are three tiles out that I can choose from. And there's a fourth one over here by year cards that allows you to draw more year cards. The more year cards you have, the more points you could possibly get at the end of the game. For now, I'm going to come here and try to take some pictures. Normally, what this site says is it, I can trade in a forest for a picture up to two times. But because I have the camera right now, I'm allowed to trade in any resource that I want to take a picture. So I can look at maybe this water token and the sunshine. I'm going to go ahead and trade those two tokens in and get myself two pictures. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I, I, I had a feeling you were going to get there. Um, I was thinking about jumping down to Vista 
to grab that camera for you before you did, but alas, I was too slow. It's too, too slow. I'm also seeing that you also have the option, um, do you have any, nope, nope, you traded in those water. Okay, so we're also looking at this right here, the, the Indiana Dunes. Yeah, uh, campsite. yeah, yeah, you could trade good if you want to come you could go to that ocean. You could trade um, a water for a wildlife three times. So if we had three waters, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're joining us, uh, just hopping into the stream, we are playing Parks with the Nightfall expansion. Uh, if you're hanging out here, why don't you go ahead and send us a DM with your mailing address. You can DM us in Facebook or whisper us at uh, whisper to us over on, on the Twitch stream. Just send us your mailing address. We're picking 10 people a day uh, to send a little thank you to, just something to show our appreciation for you coming and hanging out with us. Uh, we're really grateful to have you here. What if we went use this back one to get a forest? Okay, well, it, so, okay, you want to just do that? Mm -hmm. Let's do it, okay. Um, love, all right, I love, Nora I love really all the wants... Teams, team play. You didn't know that, you all probably didn't know that Parks could be a team game. Yeah, team game. That's how that's how we play it sometimes in our household. Um, love it. Okay, we're going to grab um, our cream hiker right here. We're going to jump down to Trail End. Um, Nora Whoa. is just really excited about visiting Arches National Park. Totally on my bucket list. Okay. So we hopped down here. Yeah, we're visiting it. And we have we have one uh, we have one forest and two sun. So this costs you'll see you'll see at the bottom how much does this cost? Is we need one two mountain uh, two forest and we need one two sunshine. So oh that's right we can play wild that's right. So we're gonna go ahead and trade in our wild. So we've got a wild, a forest, and two sun. Ooh, wildlife coming in handy there. And we are gonna take arches into our play area representing um, a story we might tell about it. A visit, a memory we have of Arches National Park. This is the Arches National yeah, Park. Yeah, what's a park. if y'all have parks at home and you play? What's a what's a favorite uh, house rule that you have uh, for parks? I'll say, um, in in my house when we play parks, um, our rule is that when you visit a park, when you visit a national park, you have to say the fact that's on that park. All of those national park cards have facts written down at the bottom, something unique or interesting about what makes. Um, that place special. There are many, many reasons that these places are all exceptional. But we posted, we added a little one, just a, a little flavor um, to each of those cards. So in our house, we say uh, all of those facts out loud when you go to visit a national park. What about you, Matt? Uh, uh, our rule is when you use your campfire, which hasn't happened yet, and it, I'm sure it will soon. When you use your campfire, you have to sing a campfire song at the oh. table. Okay. I'm not sure how often that is actually enforced. Someday. Someday I'll get my game group to buy into it. <laughs> What's your favorite camp um, song? Michael Finnegan? No. No, you don't know. Okay. All right, Jen, what you got? Um, what are you doing on your turn? I went to the I went down to the valley. I'm just gonna mosey along down to the valley and grab some sun. Grab that All right, vitamin I love D. it. Nora, it's our turn. We got this cream hiker back here. Um what do you want to do? You want to do the, the forest or the mountain? All the way to the water? Oh, yeah, we're just skipping ahead. We're just going to go all the way to Whoa. the water. We're, we're, well, you know, if we go here, then maybe we could use our campfire to go to the water next time if she tries to block that. That way we can get a, a, a mountain and a sun, and then we get to water. What do you think? Oh, no, okay, we're going here. That's one, two water, um, and we've got, we've got queued up, ready to go. Ooh, all right. You know what, Nora? That's probably the right decision because I was I was looking at that ocean. I really wanted to go. So now if I want to go, I'm going to have to use my campfire. It sounds like I need a campfire song for that. Um, Once was a man named uh, Michael Finnegan. Oh, sorry. That's that's as far as this dream will get. He tonight. had a whisker on his chin again. Hey, looks like uh, Smith B 1037 thanks so much for the follow. 50 followers on Twitch. What? People might actually hang out with us someday in the future, Jen, when we, when we stream. That is so cool, y'all. We just, just started Twitch this week, and um, it's been awesome. We've had uh, over over 1,300 views um, hanging out with us for Gen Con. Uh, that's so exciting. All right. Wow. All right. I went down to the mountain. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take advantage of the season, uh, this season of stone over here. That's... Uh, I think that's where it's at for right now. That sounds pretty good. So, hey, Nora, you know, we could hop up here and use the tent. Um, 
to to maybe get some wildlife? Is that what you want to do? Amazing. Yeah, okay, That's cool. Easy. We're going to do that. We're going to hop over here. We're going to grab the tent, and we're going to put it back down here on Indiana Dunes, which is going to allow us to trade our two water. Oh, what does this one do? Oh, that's a good one. Well, we'll we can talk about that one um, right now because you asked. So this one with the lovely uh, pinnacle illustration on it allows us to trade a gear card or a year card in for a gear card or a year card. It's the first time. So in, in, the, in, the, in the base game of parks, you get your year cards at the beginning and, and they're yours. You choose whether or not you want to accomplish them. Um, but mm -hmm. if you don't want to, that, that's fine. You don't have to, but you, there's not another way to draw more cards. Well, in Nightfall, we have a new way to cycle those. So not only are you able to, um, in this case, trade a year card in maybe to get a different one or to trade a year card and get a gear, but you could also decide, I really like my year card. I'm going to trade in a gear and get another year card. So you can have multiple year cards at the end of the game. But we're going over here to, um, the Indiana Dunes campsite attention seems pretty good so we're taking our two water and trading them in for one two wildlife which is going to set us up really nicely um to visit a park on our next turn although jen you might you might be edging for that one too it's hard to say well <clears throat> we'll just have to uh we'll just have to wait and see that is so many wildlife my goodness all right so i think i need to i'm, I'm my hands being forced a little bit here i need to come down to the end it is time for me to visit a park and i'm headed to guadalupe mountains i think she's going to mount rainier one two oh no she's going to guadalupe she's going to guadalupe ah oh. Love that fox illustration. That's great. Love that fox. Matt Taylor is the illustrator for this, and I love it. Okay. Can't get enough. So, Nora, we are at trail end right here. So that means we have to go to trail. Uh, we're at the end of the trail. We have to go to trail end. Um, we have some options, okay? We could we could take our wildlife to wildlife and maybe get a gear. We could get a discount, actually. We could get um, either, the water, either of the water filters for one less sun because we're the first one to go there. Um, we could reserve a park and get the keep the first hiker token, um, or we can visit Mount Rainier, Mount Rainier National Park right here. Oh, Glenn Thomas. Yeah, so many options. So what do you want to do? many options. Should we should we get some gear or should we go to Mount Rainier? Gear. Okay, cool. So we're gonna hop on down here to the That's gear good. section of the of the trail uh, trail end. Um, again, we're covering up this this one sun space, which allows us to buy gear at a discount of one sun. In a four or five player game, there's two of those slots available. Um, Nora, do we really want to visit the mountains or the forest? Because we can get the water filter that works in the mountains and the water filter that works in the forest. It's really just you know making sure our our our, our gear looks cool, right? Um, we want it to match. Get the, get uh, it is on. absolutely about the coolest looking gear. All right, cool. We're going to grab this water filter, paying one wildlife in order to gain it. Now, um, when we... Oh, excuse me. Hit the wrong button. Now, when we, uh, when we visit the forest, we could gain three water instead of gaining a forest. We know that's going to be really useful with this trail tile coming out in two seasons. Ooh. All right, hey, uh, Nora, Kyle over on Facebook, he says hi. He says hi, Nora. You wanna say hi, Kyle? Hi, Mr. Kyle. Oh. Gotta speak loud so he can hear you. Hi. <laughs> um, see, you've got a fan already, Nora. You just started. Uh, so, Matt, we are now at the um, a unique rule of park. So this is a base game rule that's really important. Um, I have one hiker left on the trail. They are the only hiker left on the trail, which means that according to the last hiker on the trail rule, regardless of where I am, even though I have all of these sites that I wish I could visit, so much stuff, I can't just mosey down the trail. I have to go to the trail and so all look, the way we, down. We, we said, hurry up, slowpoke. That's right. And I had to kick it into gear. So I'm going to go down and I am going to grab some gear as well. You know what? I actually kind of like the gear that just came out. It's going to give me, it's a, well, hopefully. It's going to give me a 
canteen for free. This water bottle is now like it's not official Nalgene, but it looks like Nalgene. I'm a Nalgene fan, Nalgene fan here. Um, so I, it's going to give me a canteen for free. It says when I visit the forest, I can fill one of my canteens for free. That's that seems good. really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, it sounds like we're going to be vying for uh, control of, of the forest. Might be some unfriendly camping going on there. It, it doesn't have to be unfriendly. Just because we're going just means we're, we're bringing the kindling, we're bringing some campfires, we're having some campfire songs. That's all, that's all I see. All right. Hey, so we are now, now that all four of our hikers are at the end of the trail, we need to do a little trail maintenance um in in the tts mod that's clicking a button but oh, it normally sounds, sounds like we have some now it sounds like we have some family so it says it says aunt eloise says hi to nora eloise says hello hi eloise <laughs> do you have a guess who that is mm-hmm mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right here we go so now um now that all of our hikers uh have reached trail end we're gonna move to the second season of the game. We have to pull all of our hikers back to trailhead. We need to add a new trail tile in, shuffle them all together, put out a new season card. Um, Jen, you get to take a picture because you have the camera, right? I do get to take a picture. I, you know, it's not, I, I haven't left myself the greatest resources to take a picture with, um, but that's okay because I think it's still worth taking a picture whenever you get a chance. So I'm actually going to go ahead and trade in that wildlife for a picture. I'm not going to trade in that wildlife. I'm going to trade in the forest for a picture. That seems like a better idea. That seems like a better idea. All right, here we go. We're going to hit this button over here. It's going to do it for us. <laughs> I so thought again. about that for more than half a second. So one of the really cool things about this, um, this mod in TTS is that button again, that one click allows for a lot of setup and upkeep to happen. Um, which is really, really cool. But again, you'd have to reset this trail a little bit to put out some new weather. In this case, if you're playing with Nightfall, these tents go back out on the trail. They start from the back. You'll notice that they are following a pattern. They start from the last trail site on the trail and skip uh, a trail site moving forward towards the trailhead. If we were playing a four or five player game, Matt, where would there be, what would happen? So in a four or five player game, a fourth tent is on the trail as well as a fourth campsite. Um, it's always the same additional campsite. Uh, oh, that's in a five player game. Uh, so a fourth campsite would be out. Um, and Sorry, we would have an, yeah. we'd have an additional camp, uh, a tent right here. So right between the, the, the closest and the second closest down the trail, uh, we would have a, a fourth tent out. Now, the one thing that the one uh, uh, thing that doesn't happen when you hit that start season uh, button is it does not empty out your canteens. So make sure at that season end that you're emptying your canteens uh, so it is ready to fill again. I actually need a canteen from my water bottle. Got to get one. Amazing. You know what I love? Getting this canteen again. That seems pretty good. Okay. Um, I still have the first hiker, so I get to go first. Hey, Nora. Nora, do you want to stick around for the second season? You want to hang out, play another season with me? Or do you want to go upstairs? Season. Another season. All right, here we go. So we're, we're up first. Yeah, let's go. We're up first. So this season, uh, parks cost one less sun to visit. No sun parks out right now. Would have been nice on our arches. Um, but that's okay. We got this park. We got some points. All right, Nora, what do you want to do? You want to hop to the mountain? Mm -hmm. You want to hop to the mountain? Yeah? All right, cool. We're going to grab our cream... Um, hiker, hop over to the mountain again, gaining the weather token and a mountain from the action. Hey, Nora, <laughs> go put that back. Come here and sit down. All right. Uh, hmm. I am going to hop down. I'm going to skip that mountain and I am going to the Vista. I'm going to take the Vista action. action. This is the first site with a tent on it. So again, I could choose to come down. Uh, if we look at those campsites, something's happened with them. That's it right. A little bit different. They have flipped over. So from season to season, our campsite options are different. So what are you doing? Uh, so you going to take I'm a photo? Take or are you this, gonna... I'm, I'm, I'm not moving my hiker. That was silly, wasn't it? Amazing. Already having issues with the slowness. Here, you, um, you I'm going to take that water and I'm taking, I'm going to take a canteen. 
All right. I'm taking a canteen. I'm going to flip it over for you right here. That's right. There we go. Feeling a, feeling a little better about that, that canteen. Uh, I'm going to fill that canteen and get a forest. All right. That seems pretty good. So canteen, she's filling it with water. I'm going to grab that forest for you, Jen, right here. Thank you. And now she's got a forest. Let me make sure here so you'll be able to see everything all right cool um next up we're it's our turn again north so we could um you know we could use our back cream hiker or we can use this one to jump ahead what do you think we I, you know look it'd be really great if we had some sun to do this ability should we hop up here to the sun mm -hmm. but remember we also have our fun yeah. remember we've got this water bottle though mm -hmm. if we go to the forest we can get three water what do you think that one's pretty good isn't it you want to go to the forest? All right, cool. We're going to go to the forest. We're going to take this front hiker, hop on up here. Don't don't click that, okay? Don't click that, please. Um, and we're going to gain the weather. And we're going to gain, uh, should we gain one forest or three water? We have to choose. Three water uh, is Nathan one, says, two. Nathan says, have you ever thought about having a rule variant equipment that would refresh the park's choices, especially in this situation with the season climate weather where you refresh so say that again so we refresh the all right the park choices basically an ability to um uh, wipe the parks that are available and and put out three new parks uh, i think that's a that's a really cool idea it's not something that made it into the nightfall expansion although what we have done is we've added several instant action cards into the park's deck that allow you to take an additional park action. So you could potentially visit two, if you really comboed up, you could visit three or four parks on a single turn. That would be pretty impressive if you were able to accomplish that. It would be very impressive. I think I think we've, have we seen three? I think we've seen three like once, uh, but we definitely see a lot of twos. So it kind of, uh, it's sort of like that parks pass and then one of the things that happens in this uh, in in this uh, expansion because of the campsites, you'll notice if we look at that um, that third campsite, actually, uh, that is a campsite that allows you to refresh the gear. So we heard a ton of feedback about the ability to cycle um, that gear deck a little bit more, that gear market, just to see a little bit more uh, choices. So some of these campsites offer the ability to to really. Um, uh, uh, dig a little bit with, with the gear to try to find good combos that you might be looking for or that you might want. So um, it's a, uh, uh, that's, that's a really, we really like that. Um, it, it makes gear, it just provides like kind of a fresh, fresh spark of life into the, into the gear deck. Gear is one of those things that um, you, no one ever has to get gear. It's recommended. Um, it's helpful. Mm -hmm. um, Whereas for park cards, you have to get park cards. Um, and, and specifically, we did talk about uh, looking at recycling park cards, but um, you know, this, is a, this is a friendly hike. This is supposed to be a, a friendly experience, although it can get, it can get cutthroat and competitive. Um, cycling parks really does mess with other people's strategies, what they're working on. Um, and while, yeah, that could be a really fun action in a competitive game, um, Mm, not sure we want to see it in uh, in the normal game of park. So maybe maybe in another expansion um, that we could look at that. One thing about that is I though, am... um, if you want to see more of the park actions in the game um, of these new instant actions in the expansion, instead of mixing the 48 original park cards with the 24 new park cards, uh, what we do instead is you could you could curate 24 from the base game and mix it in with your 24 from the expansion. So you can see more of those expansion cards um, throughout the course of the game because you're not going to drop your 72 cards in a game, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, Jen, you, you went and you got some you got some sunshine. I went to huh? the, went to the valley and got some sunshine. Okay, okay. What do you say, Nora? We just hop right here and we use our campfire right here. First time we're using a campfire. Campfire song. Oh, but I thought we were trying to go get the three wildlife, or maybe even we can get some gear from from the Narrows. I thought we were trying to use the campsite. Isn't that what we talked about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. There's master master plan. There's some some like. So we can choose. We can. I, I you, feel like you want to use this one right here. They're still in caper land, and they're they're like master thieves. That's right. All right. So we're gonna grab that that tent. We're moving it on down to this middle um, campsite, Ooh. and we're gonna p trade two sunshine for two wildlife. Nora, we have so many options now. 
Uh, no, because remember we're taking the we're taking the campsite action. So we only take the campsite, and, and remember the tents protect us from the weather. There wasn't any weather there, but if there was weather there, the tent would have blocked it for us. Uh, but now we don't have our we don't have our campfire. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh, that seems that seems pretty good. I definitely had my eye on that wildlife uh, with good. the sunshine. Kind of wish I got there first, but I didn't. That campsite is taken, but I've definitely made note of it. It's kind of like when you go camping and you walk around and you see all the campsites and you're like, mm, I didn't get that campsite this time, but next time we come back here, definitely go in there. All right, uh, Matt, can you grab me a mountain? I I'm sure can. Definitely hitting some lag. Grabbing you a mountain. All right, Nora, it's our turn. Um, should we hop down and get some, some more water? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, when we're down here, we could choose Ooh. to campsite. Oh, we don't have any more, we don't have any more sunshine. We could pay two wildlife to get some gear, or we can just get the sunshine and two water. What do you want to do? Hands out of your mouth. Oh, oh, you want to do this back one right here? Mm -hmm. And you want to move it up here? Mm -hmm. Should we take a photo? Should we take a photo? Yeah, let's take a photo because we can use one of our wildlife to take no, a photo. And I, we can no, get no, the camera heard, from Mrs. No, Jenny. I heard she wants to do something else. Okay, here we go. We're going to use our wildlife. Again, a wildlife can be exchanged for two of any resource when you see that brown box. Um, so we're paying one wildlife to take a picture. Sagario, one of my favorite. You want to grab the camera? Okay, go over there. Hover over it right here. Click. Click right here. Take it on over here. Oh, we got the camera. There you go. Good job, Nora. That was a good turn. I like that one. Now, now okay. Jennifer has to use her campsite if she wants the camera again. All right, all right. I see. I see how we're gonna play. Things are getting serious now. Uh, I think I am gonna come here, uh, and I am going to use. Mm, do I want to do that? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to come down here to the ocean. Again, there is some weather here, but I'm going to take this tent. Oh, she got I'm going to go camping. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. So, that's a good idea. So I am trading in two sunshine. I get to, so we'll see this cycle option right now. I get to cycle the three gear that we're out. We'll see three new gear and I can choose either one of the gear that comes up. It'd be great if uh, something. You get, you get, uh, and now it's, you've paid your two sons, so it's free now to pick up any one of these, including, um, the top I believe the rule says including off the top of the deck. Could go, I could, I could, I could draw off the top of the deck. So I've got three face up options. I think I'm going to take from the top of the deck and see what I get. So this says when I go to the valley, I can gain a wildlife instead of sunshine. I like it wildlife it's a good card with the with the wildlife rule all right Nora. all right Nora. it's our turn it's our turn um we could take uh we could take our back hiker move him up to the forest and uh gain some water remember we could gain three water there yeah all right three more water one okay let me see one two Three. Are we over the resource limits? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, so we can never have more than 12 resources. We've only got 10 right now. So, Nora, we're in a good spot. Again, using that water filter down here, um, instead of gaining a forest, we gained three water instead. It would be nice if we had a canteen, though. Another canteen would be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we know? How do we do that? That's a good one. All right. I'm going to take my backpiker. Matt, can you go ahead and move my backpiker up to the vista? Yep. I want that camera back. I'm going to take my wildlife. Doing it down. Doing it again. So she's paying and wildlife, a wildlife, painting the camera. There we go. All right, Nora, it's our turn. We can move one of our hikers forward and trade into these water for anything we want. You know, before we do that, let's go here. Let's go right here, and I'll show you how this works. We're going to go right here. We're going to gain of the water, and now we can trade two of these. We're going to turn in two of these water for anything we want. We want some... A mountain, a forest, what do you want to do? Two you, forests. Two forests, okay. One, two forests, you got it. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, ooh, you are still on the forest, still on the forest. All right, well, it is time for me to use uh, my campfire. I am going to move forward. Uh, Matt, if you can move me forward uh, to the forest, please. 
thank you very much. I have to flip over my campfire and over to hang out there. I get a forest token. And because I visited the forest and I have the water bottle, I get to fill a canteen for free. So I'm going to fill one of my canteens, trading in that sunshine for another mountain. You got it. There you go. You sure can. We're almost done. We're going to be done in about 10 minutes. You can totally go get some water right now if you want. Go the, all the way to the end, she says. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to take this front hiker. We're going to go down here. We're going to visit a park. We're going to visit a park. We want to visit Yosemite. Nora said that before we left. She wanted to visit Yosemite. Mm -hmm. um, so we're paying two forests, a wildlife, and two water. Unfortunately, not taking advantage of that sun discount this season. That's okay. That's okay. And now we've got Yosemite National Park. Oh. Here we go. Hey, why don't we uh, pause and uh, before I take my turn, you can go ahead and explain the uh, park cards. Yeah, so the this is the first of the new default. Nightfall expansion cards that we're seeing in the game um, during play. This is Redwood National Park by Jay Gordon. Um, you can see in the bottom, it costs two forest, three of any resource. Remember that brown, um, three of any resource. Oh, don't spill it on my keyboard. There you go. Be careful with that, okay? Um, three of any resource. And then you also see this little lightning symbol. That means take an instant action, similar to how Jen gained a canteen when she gained her water bottle down here. You see in the bottom right-hand corner, or on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen on the right-hand side of the card, the little instant action. The instant action for Redwood is you get to take a gear card off the top of the deck. So, you know, you get three points. Um, you're paying up to maybe five resources to get three points. Um, but you are also getting that added instant benefit of a, of a gear card right off the top of the deck. So pretty, pretty cool stuff for Redwood. Um, also yeah, I visited Trail a, Inn, so we're going to flip card. this over. So good. All right, uh, Matt, I am going to head to the valley. Headed to the valley. You need me to move you for you, uh, move for you? Yes, please. Got Sorry. you. I got you. All right, cool. I'm going to hop down. Um, we're going to hop down here using our campfire to grab that sunshine to water. Well, I think it's going to be a good idea once you see what happens next. Oh, sorry. There you go, Jen. Yeah, you got your two. Excellent. I got them. Here we go. Now you've got, um, um, back to you. I, I went all the way up ooh. to the ocean. Yeah, I know you did. I see it. Um, we are. What is that? All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'm going to move my, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Both my hikers are going to have to go in the next two turns. So I'm going to move one of my hikers up to the reserve, a uh, park token, uh, reserve a park action. I'm the first hiker that, go, that goes there. So I take that uh, first player marker and I'm going to reserve that redwood. Oh, oh, we were about to snag that up. Nora, look at that. She's going to get it first. It's okay. So she's going to put it sideways in front of her, indicating that she has reserved it. Only Jen can visit Redwood National Park in the future, but she still has to pay the cost in the future when she does visit it. She doesn't have the points for it yet. Yes, I'm going to put it out. That's, that's no. right. That's right. Uh, Nathan, I, I see your question. We'll get, we'll, I'm going to circle back on your question about solo mode. Um, just as soon as we wrap up this, this season, we'll, we'll definitely do some final thoughts on it. Cool. All right. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and grab um, our other hiker and we're going to visit a park. Nora, which park would you like to visit? We could do Rocky Mountain. We could do Mount Rainier or we could do Congre. Any one of these. Rocky Mountain will get us a cool wildlife though. Cool. All right. So you see this Rocky Mountain National Park. It costs one forest and four of any resource, but we're going to spend a wildlife to visit it. So we're going to spend one wildlife in place of the forest, and then we're going to use two wildlife to get the other four resources. Remember, wildlife count is two of those any two resources. Um, and we're going to gain that right away, putting it into our play area. And oh, you know what feels real good? We're going to get a wildlife back. Getting a wildlife back for that. Ooh. Um, Jen is mm. now the only that, hiker left on the trail. Nice discount. That was a nice, that was a nice discount. All right. I'm headed uh, to visit a park. It is visit a park time for Jen. Uh, and Jen would like to visit Mount Rainier National Park. All right. Well, for first don't of all. Even need, don't even need to see what that third one is. I know what I'm getting. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, see? Don't even need to see it. <laughs> don't even need to see it. Wait, 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 wait. 
actually, it's season two. I will for sure be going for Candyland. Get me All some right. Candyland action in here. So not only is it, um, so she's going to pay her two mountains, um, but the season of Starlight um, parks across on the sun. So she's going to get that for two mountains. And then she also, put it in front of her, also instantly gains two water from that. That was pretty good. So You'll great. notice that for my um, any four, that, that one sun discount did not apply to those brown squares. Um, so none of your gear cards and, and none of the season cards apply to those brown squares. You actually have to pay the resources or you need to pay the, um, the wildlife cost to get that. Yeah, so that's the end of season two. That is half of a game of parks. We're gonna stop here and just do kind of some final thoughts. There's another question um, uh, from Nathan. So Nathan is asking, does solo mode play significantly different with Nightfall? Um, so we had Henry who uh, designed the parks and designed obviously the solo mode, uh, play test quite a bit of solo mode. Um, and I'm happy to report that uh, it creates a lot of new strategies, a lot of new um, tough decisions, right? Because the rangers are now blocking campsites. Um, but it plays, uh, uh, it still plays really well. Again, you're going to see um, potentially higher scores from those year, year card combos mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. from, uh, from those campsites. Um, but yeah, solo mode has been tested and I'm happy to report it's going to feel familiar yet offer new option strategies in depth to it. Yeah, so so the only major difference that you are seeing in solo mode is that the brackets um, for feeling good about your score when you get to the end of solo mode have changed. So in uh, the Nightfall expansion, you'll see different. Uh, basically, when you if you're not familiar with solo mode, you play against a set of rangers and you're just trying to score as many points as you can, and then you can refer to the rule book. The rule book will let you know if you're doing a good job or not. So those brackets, because you can potentially score a little bit more points in this if you're working hard enough, if you're comboing correctly, we had to we had to change up uh, where where the milestones are for feeling good. So that that is the the real key change. There are no additional event cards for for solo mode. Um, that's rocking um, very well by itself. All right, Jen. So we got uh, uh, um, so we're gonna set up for Parks Memories up next, right? Yeah, Parks Memories. So while you're getting that set up, uh, just a couple of uh, things. One, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for checking out Parks uh, and Parks Nightfall. If you have any questions, you can always reach us. You can throw those questions in the chat and we'll, we'll answer them even as we move on to Parks Memories. Uh, you can also send us an email about that. Um, if you're here, be sure to send us a DM with your mailing address if you're interested in potentially uh, getting something a little surprise in the mail from us uh, in, in a little while. Um, we just want to say thanks. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for joining us. If you're on social media, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can follow us at Keymaster Games. You can also follow us on Twitch now. There's a new platform for streaming, and we hit uh, 50, 50 followers, which is, like, pretty awesome to do um, in just, like, basically three days since we just started on Thursday. Uh, so thanks for all the people who have followed us already. Um, we're running 20% off our web store right now. If you go to keymaster.games for Gen Con, um, all of our in-stock items are 20% off. You get free shipping over $20. You can pre-order parks. It ships in the next two weeks. Uh, it's uh, uh, You can also special order a uh, uh, pre-order and um, late pledge for uh, Parks Nightfall and Parks Memories. Uh, those two games are fulfilling to Kickstarters and pre-orders in October. Otherwise, they released in November in retail. So you get them a full 30 days, a full month ahead of that retail release. Um, we are really excited for uh, Parks to Memories. This is our new game of 2020. So um, this this is a this is a fun a fun little uh, uh, twist on memory games. Cool. Hey, so we're uh, gonna we're gonna hop to a quick break. Just uh, just about five minutes, and and then we'll be right back here for Parks Memories. Nora, do you want to say anything to everybody out there? Bye. Bye. She says thank you. <laughs> bye. And bye. Um, all right, folks. We'll be right back. Thanks so much.